In the previous analysis of the responder trial, which we presented at uh, San Antonio, we showed that non-Hispanic blacks had worse outcomes compared to non-Hispanic whites, despite having a similar recurrence score. So in this analysis, we wanted to dig a little deeper into why we're seeing that, and we wanted to look at tumor biology a little closer. So uh, we looked at the recurrence score gene axis scores amongst each race and the association of those scores with outcomes. So basically the recurrence score assay is determined by um, uh, 16 breast cancer related genes that are involved in estrogen HER2 signaling, proliferation and invasion and these make up the gene axis scores. So what we found is that um, the mean proliferation axis scores were significantly higher in black women compared to non-Hispanic white women. They were also slightly higher in Hispanic women compared to non-Hispanic white women. The uh, ER um, uh, scores were slightly higher in Asians and the HER2 uh, signal um, gene axis scores were also slightly higher in Asians and Hispanics. There were no differences in um, uh, mean gene scores for the invasion axes amongst race. Uh, we also updated our analysis to eight years in this um, presentation, uh, showing persistent racial disparities in a univariate analysis. Non-Hispanic blacks continue to show worse outcomes compared to non-Hispanic whites. But when we started adjusting for um, certain factors, uh, such as proliferation, the um, impact of race was significantly attenuated, suggesting that um, perhaps the proliferation uh, is uh, playing a role here in, in the worst outcomes in non-Hispanic blacks, but there still seems to be worse outcomes, so it's not explaining the whole picture. Um, interestingly, when we um, adjust for BMI, uh, the, there were no differences in outcome between non-Hispanic blacks and non-Hispanic whites, suggesting that this is also contributing to the big picture of disparities. Um, for Asians, uh, they showed superior outcomes compared to non-Hispanic whites, and this was unaffected by any adjustments. So despite everything else, um, all the biology, the BMI, the clinical factors, they continue to show superior outcomes compared to non-Hispanic whites. And there were no significant differences in outcome between Hispanics and non-Hispanic whites, at least in our population um, analysis. So I think uh, the role of BMI is cancer disparity is still a significant area of concern and needs to be further investigated. Um, I think what we concluded is uh, that biology may impact uh, disparities, but I think it's a, uh, a very complex issue where a lot of factors uh, contribute to it and we really need to be open-minded and approach this really comprehensively in order in order for us to address disparities effectively.